All right, let's take a look at another example. It says the temperature T in Fahrenheit at a certain point on Earth at a certain time is recorded at different altitudes. A in hundreds of feet. So let's read this chart and see what it means. So down here we have the altitude, which is actually the independent variable. First we have 21, and it's in hundreds of feet. So at 2,100 feet, the temperature is 89 degrees. At 4,300 feet, it drops to 81. All the way over to, that would be, let's see, let me make sure I read this right. Um, 11,300 feet, it dropped down to 47 degrees. So you can see as altitude goes up, temperature goes down, and vice versa. So let's see what this question is asking. It says, what is the average change in temperature? So we know that's an average rate of change per thousand feet. So again, this is like the change in Y over change in X. When descending from 9,700 to 2,100 feet. Well, if you descend, you can, you can see that the temperature is actually going to go up. So keep that in mind. When you go down in elevation, the temperature will go up. Here's my little picture of my mountain. Here I am at 9,700 feet. It's a nice, cool 65 degrees, or I would say mild. Climbing all the way down to 2,100 feet, it heats up to 89 degrees. So here are our here are our variables, change in T over change in A. So yeah, this is the dependent variable, and this is the independent. That's the way it should always be. Um, from altitude 1 to altitude 2, from temperature 1 to temperature 2. So our altitude 1 was 9,700 feet, very high. Time 1 was 65, sorry, temperature 1 was 65 degrees. Down altitude 2, 2,100, and temperature 2 is 89 degrees. Here's our equation. You can notice all these average, you know, rate of change equations are the same except for the variables. It's just like y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. In this case, it's change in temperature over change in altitude. So our T2 was 89, hotter. Our T1 was 65, cooler. A1, 2100, lower. A2, sorry, A2, 2100, lower. A1, 9700, higher. Now you notice this is going to be a negative on the bottom, which makes sense. No more additional unknowns to solve for, so that's good. So if you just do the simple calculations, top and bottom, you get 24 degrees increase in top, negative, six, ne negative six, 7,600 descent. Okay, and now I decided to change that bottom to negative 7.6 thousand feet. So what this means is, this is just kind of a general snapshot. When we climb down 7.6 thousand feet, the temperature rose 24 degrees. Now to get an actual number, not just a fraction, you would divide the top and bottom by 7.6, right? And that would give you you know, basically a thousand foot drop on the bottom and whatever this number is on top will give you the average degree change per thousand feet, which is what the question was asking. And here you go. This basically means temperature is going up 3.2 degrees for every thousand foot decrease, which is why this is a negative on bottom. Final answer, the temperature increases around 3.2 degrees for every 1,000 feet dropped in altitude. All right, folks, that's it for this example. If you have any other questions about average rate of change problems, charts, or anything else, let me know.